No, dude, Redneck it. will not eat that. He was eating it while it was alive. He won't even eat it. <laughs> Coming up from the rear, we have Bree Andersey, PA Fishing. Everybody give her a round of applause. <laughs> I'm not turning. <laughs> yeah. Great. I'm trying. Look at them all right here. Though. Hold on, I'm going to send a bunch back your way. I got it. You guys, we don't need fishing poles. We got our bare hands. What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, look who it is. Look, y'all say hi. It's BA fishing. Where's she been? Nobody knows, but we got her here with us. And we got our good friend Jackie right over here who we'll introduce in a second. And we're shovel fishing and finding shark teeth in a sifter up here on the Peace River. You wanna tell everybody hi? Hi YouTube. <laughs> Anyhow, Jackie has came up here before, called me last night and told me she was here yesterday and got a bunch of shark teeth. So we loaded up and came up to the Peace River in search of shark's teeth. There happens to be a lot of plecas here, which are armored catfish, a real strong bodied catfish. It's not from around here. They do a lot of destruction and we're shooting them with the shovel. That's right. Old school, aborigine, slinging shovels. All right, so we're right here in a little spot where the current's wrapping around some rocks. Hopefully there'll be some shark teeth. Just get about six or seven shovels full and put it in your sifter. Now Jackie has found some ginormous megalodon teeth up here. We're about 40 teeth in right now, but we haven't found any big ones. But there's always hope. This is an awesome thing to do with your kids, your friends. Then I just, ow, oh, I just bumped my knee. Dad, why don't we try going all the way down and see if we can find some other one? Put it in the water like this and get the current in it. Just move your hands around. All the sand will get out and all you'll have left is rock. Now this time of the year, when the river's really low, so many people have been here doing it. You just gotta be patient. Most of the time, the teeth, look at there. Pretty decent shark tooth. The teeth will go to the bottom. Just a few days ago, I was in Louisiana catching giant tuna. Now we're in the middle of the state of Florida, finding shark teeth and gigging palecas with our shovel. I will say, y'all get a good mix here on Blue Gabe. Yep, there's another shark tooth. My son, Luke, my four-year-old's missing one of his front teeth, and he asked me today if I'd get him another one, new one. There's another one. Oh, here's another really nice one. Two of them. Let's go kill some fish with a shovel. Look at that. Right in the noggin with the I shovel. I get next one. That's a fat one too. Wow. I get next one. I'm killing next one. Do they even taste it? We'll find out. Oh, that's a pretty one too. <laughs> what just happened? There's a log. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> they got their Don't worry, only a couple hundred thousand people are going to see that. <laughs> <laughs> the dog's like, don't flip us. <laughs> Come on, Jackie, I want to see you swan dive one. I don't know if we got to find them out here in the shallow. 
So what's crazy about this is just this morning laying in bed, I got a request to do a pleca catch, clean, and cook. I've been wanting to do one, and now we are. I've gotten two or three with the shovel and two by hand. Look right here, look right here. I got another one. <laughs> These things burrow into the banks real bad and they destroy all kinds of stuff. And they're hard as a rock. Ow. They don't have normal spines like a normal catfish. They just got real sharp spikes. Look at that. Y'all just saw me catch him with my bare hands. I got everything, don't worry. Dang it. Right here, right here. Belly flopping champion. <laughs> That's how you hand catch plecas. Oh, I see one down there, Jake. A whole bunch of them. What? Ridiculous. Right there, Jake, they're big ones right there. Go down there past Jackie. You gotta get them in shallow water. Look at them all. Look at them. Oh, here. I thought we were looking for shark's teeth. Oh yeah, there's a spot right up here. like a dozen of these jokers now. We'll see y'all back in the next spot where we're gonna look for shark teeth. That's the whole reason to have kids, y'all. Oh, no. When you have kids, they work good for like retrieving your dove, pushing your canoe, cleaning the house, things like that. You just gotta make them work. I might have to Get kill. back in there and keep paddling, son. We're not done yet. What, you're deep? Big drop off. You guys, I can highly recommend this. This is pretty fun. It's called the Peace River. It's in Arcadia, Florida. Pretty cheap, fun. We're on the five mile, but you can do an eight mile. They say that takes pretty much all day. Uh, luckily, that wasn't attached. You're supposed to be our log guard. There's How many teeth do we have? I got that like We've been doing this for like an hour and a half, two hours, and we already got 40 teeth. Ah, and I've already harvested some fish with my shovel, yeah. and I'm gonna be getting some more and taking them home for a catch, clean, and cook. We caught an eel. Oh yeah, we caught an eel too. <laughs> Get him. What do you got, Jake? Eel. You gonna eat him? That's the same kind we caught at Uncle Robert's ranch. Yeah. Ah, get him off of me! Get! <laughs> you guys, it's just one of them deals. Some of y'all might think this is goofy. We call it fun. You never can be too old to have this much fun. We're floating down a river. The whole country's in an uproar of a virus. Fortunately, none of us have it. We're all out of work. Both Bree and Jackie are nurses that this is affecting their job too. And we're just having a good day. And when we're done here, we're going to my house to cook some more fresh tuna that Bailey and I caught. So hopefully y'all are enjoying this. But seriously, I tried so hard. Next time. So for those of y'all that catfish, one thing that's crazy about these plecas is they'll stay alive 
even longer than catfish will with no water. I'm pretty impressed though, Jackie and I haven't flipped this canoe yet. That's like a pretty big accomplishment. The cool thing about what we're doing is I know all over the country and probably all over the world, y'all have a stream or a river just like this that y'all can do the same sort of thing. Maybe not in March like we're doing it because it's too cold in other places, but right now it's 85 degrees and smoking hot. The water's probably 78 to 80 degrees. And this is Jackie's day number two, so she's cooking. I've edited the last two days. I came straight home from Louisiana, did the first tuna video, went straight right into the second tuna video, and I'm gonna have this video up tomorrow. Just trying to rock them out for y'all. If y'all are stuck in the house, you might as well have some Blue Gabe to watch. So what a lot of people don't know is Florida is nothing but a coral reef. Some of it's got more sediment on top than others, but that's why there's so many shark teeth right here. We're right down on the coral, also known as limestone. The Crystal River area and some of the west coast is the same sort of way. If you watch our red fishing video in Crystal River with the Hang'em High guys, those rocks we were hitting when we were running real shallow was limestone rocks, which is this same sort of stuff. And this is pretty much what the shark teeth are setting on. Big old trees, that's for sure. The root system to these cypress trees is so amazing. There's so many stumps and barbs coming up and all kinds of craziness to those root balls. The gray Spanish moss. You guys, look at that gnarly looking joker. But show them all the shark's teeth. I think we counted 70 something. I think we were in a nursery where all the small sharks. So. I don't even, I don't know where to start. I didn't YouTube what I'm about to do. I didn't do anything. This thing is so rock hard that we're gonna put these Danko knives to the test. I'm gonna just try to crack it open, like sort of expose the meat and put it on the grill and just let it cook in its own shell. So I'm gonna start right here on the tail. Now I know in other countries, gosh, other countries they, they eat these things but one of the reasons we killed them today is they cause mad destruction around here they tear up our dikes and our levee systems like they're really really bad there's nothing that they do that is good so if we can figure out how to eat them and them taste good that's a win-win. Dang. Gosh. All right, I think I just accomplished something. So more or less what I did was went right down each side of the backbone. the middle part out so I think we're getting somewhere I don't know if y'all can hear that it sounds like my knife is on sandpaper the meat doesn't look too terribly bad well, tell everybody hi I'm so they ever, excited everybody's been missing you I'm gonna eat that <laughs> and that <laughs> and Jackie's okay. got that going you guys, I'm, I'm all about don't that. think these girls stayed for dinner just to eat armored catfish, y'all. <laughs> right. You know I had to bribe, bribe them. Let her, all I'm going to do now is, well, maybe, maybe I'll try to. Well, that worked. Just so when we're trying to. Gosh. So I can almost assure you this is going to taste bad because it's a bottom feeder. So I'm going to pour some vinegar all over it and try to get any of that muddy taste out. 
Now this, you might think, oh, I just dumped pickles. Well, pickles, pickle juice is vinegar. We're gonna take this bad boy and put him on the Traeger grill, just like that. Come on. Free salt or bread? I hate pickles. Here goes nothing. I've got it at 200 degrees. I'm gonna crank it up to about 350. All right, moment of truth. I've been excited for better things before, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but look right there on the stove, y'all. That's what we're really excited about. And yeah, it's exactly how I cooked it the other night, but you know what? This is my favorite way to cook it. Jackie and Bree both are excited to eat it this way, so we're doing it again. And for those of y'all wondering who I BA Fishing is, if y'all are new to the channel, she's been on a bunch of my earlier videos. Just for the last couple months, she's been away traveling and she's working and she's filming her own shows because she's actually got her own YouTube channel called BA Fishing. Look at that. But this time we got a little bit of a Brene sauce, we got some white rice, we got some corn. And Miss Jackie Cook, y'all. Look at that. We got this. And, yeah, like what? <laughs> what? Who wants to eat that anyways? That was your idea. Yeah, this is hundred percent your idea. We're gonna try it though. Yeah. 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 I'll eat it. I I don't think I'm gonna like it. I don't like catfish in general. But then this thing catfish, looks like it's armored catfish. We'll see y'all at the table. Yeah, look at that though. Mmm. So Alright, say the blessing. Make it quick. We're starving. Thank you, dear Lord, for this day. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Thank you for everything we did. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Alright, y'all. So I give Bree's channel tons of shout-outs, and in trade, she'll try anything I cook. Like that's our deal. If you watch the Sand Flea video, she was in that. If you watch the iguana video, she was in that. And she gladly tries anything. I don't know if she's super excited to try this, though. Can I tell you why I'm not super excited? It doesn't... It doesn't taste... It doesn't smell... <laughs> it smells like pickles. Be real. No, it's all... <laughs> you would not... You have to eat it. That thing looks like something in a horror movie. Thank you. <laughs> It smells weird. That is like a combination of like smoked pickle juice. <laughs> I swallowed it. I swallowed it. I didn't taste a thing. No. You're next. You're next. No, Jake, you want to try it? You're so next. <laughs> I'm not gonna be the only one who tries it. <laughs> you guys, that's a worse smell. <laughs> Get it out of the house. No. You're seriously not gonna eat it. No, it's disgusting. I can smell. It's horrible. You guys, so I did a video with Catch 'Em All fishing, and he made me cook a paku. If I smell one more smell of that. It was horrible. Just try the tuna. Somebody try the tuna quick so I can get rid of the paco. Hold on, hold on. No, dude, Redneck will not eat that. He was eating it while it was alive. Redneck, don't do it. I'm going to have to sleep with you tonight. He won't even eat it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Redneck won't even eat it. You guys don't eat plecas. Kill them and throw them up on the bank and let the buzzards eat them. Don't eat them. Y'all, this video has been real. It's been fun. It brought me back to my childhood. I'm glad Jake, my son, got to come with us. Got Jackie, Bree. Too bad Redneck wouldn't even eat the fish. We got to end this video right here, right now, because we got a crazy, exciting video coming tomorrow. But right now, we're ending it. And like Jake always says, we're getting the heck out of here. We're getting what, Jake? What? What'd you say? We're getting the heck out of shape. <laughs>